Welcome back everyone to more Farming Simulator 19 coverage here at Neepit Gaming. Today's video is going to be a quick video about the new landscaping tool that will be available in the upcoming 1.20 patch from the developers. Uh, what I've done is downloaded the beta 1.20 patch through Steam and we're going to do a quick demonstration. So the main thing that I wanted the landscaping tool for was to fix some of these issues that you get with the terrain deformation by default when you're placing these buildings. Of course, we know that the terrain deformation also costs money in the base game when placing buildings and the landscaping is going to be no different. It is also going to cost money. So keep an eye out in the top right hand corner of the screen where you can see our money listed and how that will decrease as we play around with this tool a little bit. So to access the landscaping tool, we will open up the storefront and on the far right hand side of the screen, we have the shovel icon and we will simply click on start landscaping. Now that brings us into the same basic view that you get whenever you're placing buildings. We can zoom in and out. We can also adjust the size of the brush. You can see the current brush size is six in the bottom right hand corner. We can increase that or decrease that with the arrow keys. If I press the left arrow key, that will decrease the size and then right arrow key will increase the size. So we're gonna go back to the default of six. The brush strength can be increased or decreased by using left control and Q or E. Left control and Q will lower the brush strength. Left control and E will increase the brush strength. Now the brush strength is going to affect how much of a change happens every time we click on an area. So the higher the brush strength, the more money we're going to be spending and the more dramatic the results are going to be. So we're going to leave this at 0.1 because I think that's going to get us where we need to go. But again, keep an eye out on uh, the money as we work. So we're going to start off with this sort of the end of the ditch area over on the side. And we have basically four options when working with uh, the terrain. We can raise it with left click. We can lower it with right click. We can try to smooth it with the middle mouse button holding it down. Or we can use left and right mouse buttons together to try to flatten an area. Let's start off by trying to smooth. We're going to try to smooth this area out. And so I'm going to hold down the middle mouse button. And as I move, you can see that the terrain is indeed making a smoother transition from the higher terrain over here to the lower terrain that is in this area. So as I continue to move around, you can see it's not costing us a terrible amount of money right now, but just again, keep in mind, we're making small adjustments. And as I zoom in, you can see that is much better than it was by default. As we move down, you can sort of compare the two. Now, what happens if we decide we want to raise the terrain? All right, so let's go ahead and try to raise it. I'm gonna hold down the left mouse key and you can see we get some pretty pretty big adjustments. Uh, there we go. So of course we can increase or decrease the size of the brush that we're using for this. So now let's go down to about a two and we're going to try to lower a little bit by right holding down the right mouse button. So again, you can see that we can easily deform the terrain and you can also see how much money it's costing us in the top right hand corner. So now let's try out the flatten function. First, let's go ahead and increase our brush size. We're gonna go up to 10 this time to give us uh, quite a bit of area. And now you can see we have, it's doing a pretty good job of it for the most part. And again, I'm not doing a great job of actually wielding the tool right now, but you can see sort of how this option works. And again, how much money it would cost. Okay, and also notice that as we move the bubble over an area where we've placed a building, it will not allow us to modify the terrain within any of this particular area. Let's rotate around and you can see it is very stringent about the area that we can work with. And just off the side there, we can actually start to work with this area. So let's go ahead and work a little bit over in this corner. And I'm gonna actually use the flatten just to show you a little bit more of how the flatten works. And you can see it is flattening it indeed, but it's creating a uh, quite a bit 
of a cliff and spending our money along the way. Okay, so probably what we would want in this area is the smooth function as that would raise the terrain. You can see if I hold it in the same spot, then it's certainly helping out to smooth the area. For those of you who might be following along with our gameplay series of Farming Simulator 19 on the channel, don't worry. This is the same uh, farm that we're working with in the gameplay series, but this is a different save. So you won't have to worry about me messing up the uh, terrain just trying to make this video. So once again, just trying to smooth out some of these areas. And you can see all of this mess we've created can be undone along the way as we're able to quickly and fairly easily smooth some of this out. All right, so those are some of the things you can do with uh, the landscaping function, but there is a second option at the top. Not only can we sculpt, but we can also paint. And on the left-hand side of the screen, you notice in that menu that X is to change landscaping mode. So I'm going to press that now, and we get to choose in the bottom right-hand corner the actual uh, terrain that we want to paint with. So which texture do we want? We get to choose in the bottom left-hand corner. Let's actually go ahead and make our brush um, a little bit bigger. And then we're going to press Tab to move through some of our options. And then we're going to paint the ground a little bit with some of these and see how they look. So we'll start out with the first option. Then we'll zoom in a little bit and you can see what that looks like. And then we'll tab again and we'll place down a little bit more. Again, zoom in just so you can see what that looks like. There you go. Now you get into the dirt. Great for dirt roads. And then we'll move over here for some sand. And again, you can zoom in, sort of see what these textures look like as we're moving around. Okay, let's press tab again. And we're going to lay out yet another texture until finally we're going to get to just the plain grass. Now, the plain grass is an easy way. You can see it gets rid of any of the weeds as well as the tall grass. Now the downside of this is do not use this on any area that you want to actually grow grass uh, in and so that you can cut it, make hay or silage or whatever the plan is. Do not use it for that because the grass that you are using for this purpose will not grow. So we can use it to get rid of all these weeds and change quite a bit around, but again, this grass will not grow. So we can go ahead and put a little different area there in the middle. So that'll give you an idea of what is upcoming in the 1.20 landscaping mode. Thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned as we will continue our support for Farming Simulator 19.